Go ahead. As per graphics cards, uh, uh, the only reason I go with NVIDIA is because I use DaVinci Resolve to edit videos, and basically anything other than NVIDIA will be a nightmare to set up uh, for Resolve on Linux. It, it just doesn't support Intel at all, and mm. for AMD, you have to install the AMD GPU Pro drivers, mm -hmm. which also seem to have issues and crash a lot, so for now, it's just NVIDIA. Yeah, I've, a lot of people have asked me to look at DaVinci Resolve. I just haven't gotten around to it. So what has your experience with it actually been like? Well, it's the, like the most stable piece of software I ever used, like not just for video editing, but for everything, basically. Mm -hmm. It just never, ever crashes. It's extremely fast and responsive. I never have any stutters. Uh, I can edit in 4K on the laptop with the 3060. It's going to play back at 60 FPS with effects applied. Uh, color correction applied with tons of titles and transitions on top of it it's still running at 60 fps it's just extremely fast and smooth it's super powerful like you can do audio editing video editing color correction you have a node based uh, editor for creating your titles your own special effects your own animations which i haven't dived at all into like mm -hmm. the, the it's called fusion i think yeah uh, i never i haven't dived at all in it but uh, I'm starting to use Fairlight, which is the audio editor, which is like really, really nice as well. Like just audio correction. If you have a little bit of echo, a little bit of stuff, you have a super powerful equalizer. You have a, a super easy to use compressor, noise reduction tools. It's just an all-in-one package that works well. Mm -hmm. uh, I bought the paid version though, because like the free version on Linux has abysmal codex, codex yeah, support. I, he I heard something like it doesn't support encoding above 1080p or something weird like that. I don't know, there might be something like that, uh, but the, the most uh, annoying issue is that it only supports like the Move container and uh, WAV 16 audio and what? like nothing MP4 based. So you basically have to convert everything you record to stuff it into it. Uh, it's, a, it's a one FFmpeg command line, but it's, it's taking a long time each time. And I think it's just because they can't license the codecs on Linux because they don't have an right. agreement with the OS manufacturer. But the paid version has a lot more support. You still cannot use MP3 audio, I think, but uh, anything apart from that works really well. So sometimes if you import an MP4, you, you're not going to get any audio, so you just have to convert it to, to just to change the audio mm -hmm. like uh, codec, but it, it's yep. not that complicated and it takes like five seconds because if you just convert the audio and keep the, the video as it is, it's just super fast. That's... It's just a very good program and I used Caden Live before, which I really liked as well. Mm -hmm. And it was very stable for me as well with the Flatback version. It oh, just I was gonna does, say. didn't crash a lot. <laughs> yeah, it didn't crash a lot. Yeah, the app image was horrendous. I, I don't think it even started at some point. <laughs> and and the, the regular packaged version also crashed all the time. The only one that did the trick for me was the Flatback. Yep. It just worked super well but there's no gpu acceleration and so every time you add like three titles on top of your your video it's gonna stutter and the playback is gonna be horrible and the export times are super long compared to to resolve for resolve i export my videos uh i export them in 1080p 60 fps and for a 20 minute video it takes three minutes to export yeah uh, and get alive it with 30 minutes with yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just a big time mm -hmm. save, especially when you review your video and you notice like, oh crap, this title is not well aligned or, or I forgot some B-roll here. If you have to re-export the video, it takes three minutes, not 30. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's just it's just a, a time saver. And Caden Live's GPU acceleration is just, yeah, there's experimental, a toggle for you it. have it, yeah. but it, it crashed all the time for me. Just It, it worked well in the editing part, mm -hmm. but trying to render with any GPU accelerated effects crashed all the time. I just never managed to make it work. I, but right maybe now, it was NVIDIA related. Uh, I don't know. I haven't had it crash render... No, that's a lie. I haven't had it crash rendering recently. Um, I don't think it was a GPU related crash. So there was a period... So. Caden Lives, it's such a weird program because for a while it went through this period of like one version it's great next version it's terrible yeah. and there was a period where the render queue broke so I couldn't, oh. the, the way I usually do my videos is I, I bulk record so I'll do everything at the start of the week and then I will edit it and usually I'll like render it all out so I just know it's done. I couldn't render multiple videos at once so I had to like open up multiple instances that was a pain <laughs> Yeah. But when I have to make some audio edits to this, which I probably will because I never manage to, like, you know, level audio properly when I'm doing it on OBS, this will take about, I want to say, 
minimum 45 minutes to render, I want to say. Something like that. Which isn't horrible. It could be worse. Well, well, but... uh, an, an hour long video or something like that? Uh, whatever it ends up. I, however long we end up going for. Uh, yeah, it's... <sighs> well, it's not fast. Yeah. It's not fast. It does it's not the... fast. Of the open source solution, this is the sad thing, right? Right now, of the open source solutions, it's probably the best. Yeah, there's Olive, which is starting to look good. I've heard a lot of good GPU things. GPU accelerated, mm. but it just lacks a ton of effects of uh, color correction tools. It's it's just very bare bones right yeah. now in terms of what you can do with it. But it is GPU accelerated. Apparently, even if it's still in alpha, I think. But for an alpha, it's still very very stable. Yeah, people. Keep so this might be like the next thing mm. that that comes in at some point. But for now, yeah, I, I just I just need something that doesn't crash, that doesn't have issues. Especially when I moved to Resolve, I had, mm -hmm. I still had a full time job and I did yep. uh, two videos per week, and I I just could not have my video editor not working because I had like one afternoon to do a like two videos. Yep. So any single glitch would just throw me off and mean that every video would be delayed. So I I had to had a, a reliable solution and Resolve was it for me. But I wish they had better support. I wish they supported like the basic regular AMD drivers yep. with OpenCL. And so I, I would in an instant replace those NVIDIA cards because even though the drivers are pretty good on the desktop side of things, mm. like I, I don't have any issues on the desktop side of things. I don't have screen tearing. I don't have stutters. I don't have crashes. The drivers are just good right now. And they even work with Wayland now. So yeah. Oh, yeah I was going to ask you about well. Wayland. 